Disable gravity. Turning off gravity. You are now free to float. shark scientist Brian Laguerre to do some shark tagging and research in the BVI. We're starting with the shallow mangrove area of Hans Creek, which we suspect to be a juvenile sanctuary. The first thing we do is set up our baited underwater remote video system, also known as a BRUV, which we'll leave running for a few hours to get a sense of what types of sharks we have in the area. Then we move as close to the shallows as we can possibly get our boat, and bait our hooks and set out a line of 10 hooks space six feet apart and set a timer for 30 minutes to see what we can catch during that time. It's looking like the area definitely has some baby lemon sharks. After 30 minutes, we catch our first shark. Brian brings it back to the boat so we can begin our data collection. First, it's a tag, then a tissue sample, then we collect measurements and data like gender, and then it's free to go. So why are we doing all of this, you might ask? Well, the BVI is a no-catch shark sanctuary, yet we have little to no research on sharks within the territory or how these nurseries can play a greater role throughout the entire Caribbean region. So follow along as we try to find out.
these slow growing species, they generally grow between 0.1 or 1 centimeter a year. This disease is incredibly fast spreading. Um, it generally spreads through a stony coral at 2 to 4 centimeters a day. So how we're treating our coral, the main defense in the BVI, is we're using uh, what's in this syringe. It's a mixture of a specially bioengineered paste by base to be and amoxicillin, an uh, antibiotic mixed into it. And what we do is where we find the disease on the coral, we've got the healthy tissue and then we've got the skeleton. The disease is on that margin between the two. We're applying this antibiotic paste via this syringe, pushing it down into the coral, just killing off the disease and saving the live tissue. Ever, ever had